Today's video, I'm going to be going over how to run the dollar defense and really a specific type of style of blitzing concept from dollar that I really like. Been pretty much running this all season long. I've been doing it out of 245 odd. We've also shown you how to do it on our Patreon out of dollar, out of 245 odd, out of a lot of different formations. And I got an entire dollar defense V-book on the Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description down below. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. It'll get you better at Madden and it will get you access to all of our ebooks, all of our updates, everything. And we have a whole entire ebook that's devoted to teaching you how to blitz in Madden, showing you the best blitzes out of pretty much every formation in the game. Now, the new way to run dollar, or at least a different concept for running dollar, I'm going to show you uh, kind of a two-parter here. So um, one of the ways that people ran dollar last year was out of spinner because obviously it was a man to man, meta, man to man meta. One of the real benefits of spinner was this blitz angle here on the right side of the screen. And what you're going to notice is it is a sharper uh, slant inside specifically against like a bunch or trips formation. Last year, this was really effective because what you could basically do is you could send loop pressure off of one end and then with a simple press and, and uh, re blitzing this defensive end, you could send edge pressure off of the opposite end. The other reason why this was good was because it, on a formations that had an attached tight end, this would still loop because of that sharp blitz angle. So what you'll see here is it doesn't work this year, okay? So how do we want to loop in Madden 24? Well, there's really a couple different methods uh, to looping in this game, but there are uh, best practices, and we're going to get into that. But essentially what you can do now is we can crash our defensive line down after we QB contain, and then what you'll see is it puts him on that sharper blitz angle and you can potentially get the, the, the loop pressure off the right side. But the general takeaway from pretty much everything we've seen this year about loop blitzing is that it's not always best to loop on the side of the tight end. It's actually typically the best place to loop on the side of the running back. So this kind of puts us in a little bit of a dilemma because of the way that dollar aligns in most formations. So what I like to do with this is this now allows us to run this on a base alignment. And then we're going to uh, basically set this up like this. So now what we can do, if you take a look here, you see that this dollar defense, the slot corner that is on the running back side automatically presses and puts him in a good position for us to be able to click onto him and move him around. So all we're going to do is we, we've come out baseline. As you can see, I can click onto this guy pretty quickly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slide him in and put him on a contain. And then we're going to press our coverage and crash our defensive line uh, down or to the right. So you see now we have the contain off the running back side and we have the edge pressure off the other side. And then basically we're going to stand on the opposite side of the center that the loop is coming from. So in this example, I'm over the top of the center and I'm just slightly to the right so that I can engage with the right guard because I know that's where the blitz is going to need my help uh, to come in. And so what you'll see is we get a loop off of one edge and we get an edge pressure rush off of the other edge. This, to me, is really the new best way to blitz in the game. And I don't know that it's necessarily entirely different than what we've been doing uh, this season. I think people really like to double loop. But the beauty of the slot corner edge pressure is, let's say I block a tight end, for example. The tight end is going to block the slot corner edge pressure, but it's not going to block the uh, slot corner that is looping, right? So that's the benefit of this Sim 5. And then let's say I block a running back. OK, so we block a running back here. And honestly, if you wanted to, if you wanted to be baseline, um, you could honestly just walk this guy off, click off. He'll typically auto reset. Um, so that's that's another little thing that you could do. But the other thing that I want to show you is if they block a running back, now your edge pressure has a pretty good chance of being able to come in off of the right side. So the beauty of this is now we've put them in a position where they have to basically max protect uh, to pick up the blitz and nobody wants to max protect and Madden and the other thing that you can do is you can click on this guy and then I can easily get onto these safeties bring them down and then I can get you know over here so it's, it's you can kind of uh, craft a setup with this with this blitz that is going to really be good and effective for most um, you know bunch trips U trips this is all going to apply uh, to formations that are you know typically like a trips alignment I'll show you a tight alignment here um, and we actually saw John Beast do this a little bit out of against tight uh, in his game against Gabigol. But as you can see there, we're getting that kind of glitchy uh, gap heat over there on the right side, even though I blocked a running back. 
Now, last thing that I did want to show you about this specific loop blitz, and then we'll get into uh, how you can run this against other formations, is I think Dollar ultimately is – it's, it, it's the best defense because you can do the most amount of blitzing concepts. There's a lot of different blitzing concepts you can do out of this. The other reason that makes this defense really, really, really good um, is because, as you see right there, I slid away. I blocked my running back, and we're still going to get pressure. The slot corner pressure, I think you're going to see it make a return. If they do patch the loop pressure, the slot pressure is going to be much better uh, is generally how it works. But I also wanted to show you how you can run this against another uh, type of formation, like a two-by-two, two, either spread or tight. So let's go tight slots, and I'm going to come out in the flood play. And again, we're in dollar DB fire two. Coaching adjustments, we just have baseline on. And what you're going to see, as you see right here, the slot corner on the right side comes up. We actually don't necessarily prefer that uh, against tight. Why? Because he's on the tight end side. So what we want to do here is we are just going to bring this guy in. So we're just going to bring him in, and then we're going to press QB contain and crash our D line to the tight end side. And what you'll be able to see here is we have a really good chance of getting uh, edge pressure and loop pressure just like that. This concept applies to every formation in the game. Obviously, dollars a little weaker against the run uh, than some of the other formations that you might want to run like nickel 3-3 or nickel 3-3 cub. But I think with the pressure continuing to get better and better from it, it makes it a really good candidate as the number one defense right now. If you guys want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, just join the Patreon. I'll put a link to that down in the description. And um, we also have a ton of other stuff over there, including how to stop blitzes like this and uh, how to do this from other types of formations that might not be as meta. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.